This video is going to show you how to access your homework and submit homework through Google Classroom instead of Show My Homework. On the Google homepage at home, you can go to google.com. You can log in to Google using your school email address and password. Once you're logged in, you can go to the nine squares in the top right hand corner and go to Classroom. This will take you through to Google Classroom, which looks a little bit like this as an example. There's a couple of different ways you can see what homework you've got to do. Firstly, if you look at the different classes, on each of the tiles, underneath the name of the class, there's something that says due uh, and a date and then an activity to complete. You can see an example on this maths class that's due in Monday and this science class, which is also due in Monday. The second way to view what homework you've got to complete is by going to your to-do list. Over on the left-hand side, you can see a to-do icon just below the Google Classroom header. You can also click on the main menu and go to to-do about the third option down. When you click on to do, it will open up a page that looks a bit like this. It will show all the homework and classwork you've got to complete. It will first open up with anything that's not got a due date. I'm just gonna close this for the moment by clicking on this arrow in the top right hand corner. You can then see you've got this week, next week, and later. At the moment, there's nothing due in this week. But if I go to next week and click the down arrow, you can see there's three activities or three pieces of work I need to complete by Monday the 14th of September. If I click the later arrow, you'll see the activities that are due later in the month. To complete some homework, I need to click on one of these to go and see what I need to do. So I could go into this one, for example. I can see the homework and I can see if there's anything attached. Once I've completed the homework, I'll click the markers done button in the top right hand corner. This will then tell my teacher I've completed my work, but it also complete it off of my to-do list. If I go back to the to-do list, you'll see that that one has disappeared. I'll do the same thing on this one. We'll go into this one and check this one over and then click markers done once it's completed. Markers done. And it's as simple as that. Try and keep an empty to-do list as much as possible and hand things in. If there's no due date, mark the workers handed in and you can unsubmit things if you need them back again if you're working on them. But try and keep this to-do list as clear as possible to make it easy to navigate and see what work you've got coming up. We're now going to look at the three different ways you can complete homework, either by just handing it in, by attaching work, or by completing a worksheet. So there's three examples of three different versions of homework here underneath the homework topic on this classroom. It's just a test classroom. The first one, if I click on this, says read chapter three homework. You can see all of these are still live or still to do because they're colored in. So if we're going to read chapter three, this one says, please read a chapter three of the book, and it's assigned at the moment. Now this one doesn't require me to add or do anything. Once I've completed the homework, I can just hit mark as done and I can mark that as done and that completes that homework. If I go back to my classwork at the top, you can now see that that one has gone gray because I've now marked that one as done. The second one here I'm gonna click on now is upload a photo of your artwork. So this one requires me to upload something to my homework to submit it. So if I go into view the assignment, this one has nothing attached, but I can attach something. So I can attach it from a file from my computer or from my Google Drive, where if you have the app installed on your phone, you can add it in using that as well. So I'm gonna add something in from my Google Drive for this one, and then I'm gonna select my drawing, and then I'm gonna mark it as done. And that's handed in my homework uh, in that way. The third and final way, I'll go back to the classroom now, go back to classwork. You can see that one's submitted and handed in. The third and final way is completing a worksheet. This one's got something attached, so if I go and view my assignment, you can see here that there's a worksheet I need to complete. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna complete this worksheet, and then once I've finished, I can hit turn in in the top right hand corner, or I can go back here and hit the hand in button, which then marks it as handed in and complete. If I go back to the classroom, you can now see that those three pieces of homework are now all complete because they've now gone gray in that window.